crazy robbery gone horribly wrong, to start by saying I am a girl and I'm only 16, so it started off as a regular day, so I came to school from a far trip you one of those end of the year trip. Well yay that and we came back at 11.30pm me and my friends went into the school to wait for our parents to go home as we were waiting we was just chilling, and so my mom came now it's 12.04pm before I left my mom seen me with Austin, I gave Austin a hug goodbye so as well with my other friends, so my mom came we both walked outside in front of the school where it was pitch dark out, I'm talking about dark as heck where you can not even see no one, but it was only a couple of street lights on, but they did not really help much. Now my mom parked across the street from the school on the neighbor's house grass near the sidewalk, so no problem we both walked to the car, and I seen the back door open literally open, so I closed it and asked my mom hey mommy, why is the back door open, did you not know it was open, she responded oh I did not realize it was open I must have forgot to close it or something now get in the car I'm tired as I got in, I just said yeah right, but you are really lucky you did not get robbed or nothing, so as we both got in the car but on out seat belts close all doors. Now my mom started the engine as soon as I was about to lock the doors I seen a shadow on my mom's side of the car, and in my mind I said, oh shit it's about to go down on why today okay so now basically I'm just crying in my head, and terrified as heck wondering, am I going to die today, now I'm thinking damn it's just that easy to just take someone's life away as you go, but never really thought if it would have been me. Uh, so I kept pressing the lock button to lock all the doors on the car they still managed to open it, cause my mom window was open, so you know now we both fucked up, so what we gon do now, I mean I not nothing sheer I can do we just fucked, but now I thought of something the back door. Maybe the back door was open because he opened it, I mean who else so we were kinda set up that's his plan now one man pointed the gun at my mom and said give me all of your money all my mom had on her was $10, so the man said is that all, you are lying you got more. And in my mind I'm like duh obviously not cause why would she come pick me up at 1204 with a wad of cash or even a debit or credit card that would not be smart, so now my mom said no really that's all I have, and he said alright you. Give me what you got, and I said I I not got nothing, you are lying he said, I said really I just came from school so why would I have money. So he said alright and I was hoping he did not shoot me or my mom, next thing I know I heard POW. Right on my left thigh so he shot me on my thigh and he ran into a car so I'm happy because I'm thinking it's all over now he's gone, so now everyone would be okay, but I was totally wrong that same car came back 2 secs later, so now I'm guessing that first guy was not alone the second dude came to the car he had his gun pointing as us he was talking to the first guy who shot me meanwhile I'm in severe pain, I'm just thinking about going to the hospital, the second guy was asking the first guy who? Which one her? Who did not give nothing? And the first guy replied saying the little one which was me so they had chuckled and pointed the gun at me, and he said you should gave him what he wanted, so there you go again, he shot me now this time it was twice POW POW. Now it's one in my stomach and one on the top left arm, so now I'm there with three bullets in me now I'm in stupid pain as he shot me here and into the car he came from, and they both drove away fast, now my mom drove away quick, we were rushing to the nearest hospital, so now we are in Miami Gardens, not sure if there was any nearest hospitals or around us, so we had drive far. Just when I relived that everything was over now we feel as if someone is following us, we were not really sure cause they was really driving slow behind us, and turned at a point we did so as we got to hospital we lost them at least we thought we did, but for now we did so we pulled up parked me on. Trying to go inside quick where I could actually feel more safe while my mom trying to stay in the car with the door wide open at 1 o'clock. Pitch dark as shit outside I told her, let's go like what if they come back mommy come on, I cannot lose you right now you are all I have, so all I said made her come. So we both walked in the hospital I was going to call 911, but I did not think there was a reason to because I mean I was in a hospital I could call the cops later right? But I was wrong as me and my mom was either waiting room everything was going fine, 
until the car that was following us pulled up in the driveway, just to let you know it was not the car that got us earlier, before this a whole new different people consider guys, and they pulled up I already knew. Trouble was coming so now I'm thinking in my head why god why are you letting this happen to us, I had enough already. I was pleading and crying out for his help and forgiveness at the same time, see my problem was not dying, my problem was going to hell not going to heaven that's it, but at the same time I did not want to die like this, so I seen them pull up, I locked the doors quick, and they had tools to open it up, but. It took them some time so I took advantage of the time by running to a nearby room or some closet I took my phone to call the police department, so this is where the fuckery comes in every single time I dial 911, and I will press call my phone goes straight to a website I tried so many times still. Not working so I just gave up, and I just knew at that point I was helpless, and I was gonna be dead at any moment now. And so was my mom and those people in there, so I hear the door opens shit there and they have opened the door, I heard a couple of laughs could not be those guys from before they are. Walking around look for anyone who were trying to hide keep in mind the closet or room I was in was pretty big enough for someone to hide in. I'm in silence I hear footsteps, I'm trying not to make a sudden move or sound, I cover my my mouth with my hands to lower the sound of my breathing. He says, I know you in here get out before I come get you myself, which made me scared even worse, I stayed quit as possible for a while, he let the rumor closet and so I tried calling 911 again, damn it no reception fuck, I just stay calm and hold these guy does not hurt anyone especially my mom, but what do they want, these sick fuck, it's been 30 mins which felt like more. I search around the closet for weapons anything just anything that would take these fuckers down. I found a long metal bar like what would that do I just take the chance to get them all at this point. I do not even care what happens to me anymore. I'm already hurt. I just want them all gone goo. I peek out the door it's three of them one of them looks familiar. Wow I whisper it's that same guy from before. So I breath him. I run out with the painful body. Hit him in the back of his head. And of course, he had put up a fight I kept hitting him till he passed out as one of his friends came at me. With a gun and bam bam, he shot me twice one in the leg one in the stomach I fell down. I thought that was the end of me I'm laying there in pain, and with shock of what just happened, lucky there was neighbors around as they witnessed the sound of the gunshot for once I'm a little more worry less. They called the police, the police came and of course those guys were gone now I'm 18, it's been a year since I'm fine. And so it my mom I'm now in a wheelchair won't not be able to walk for the rest of my life, now I am terrified of being out especially at night, I just feel sick to my stomach at times. Knowing that they are out there somewhere may be causing the same trouble. Dear you robbers um let's not meet again. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.